Hello, dear video reviewers. It is I, your transgendered host, back again with the device to you, the device used by the number one world's treasure hunter. I forgot to mention this last video because the whole rule change on YouTube. Blah blah. Eighteen plus. Blah blah blah. Adult collectors. Here is the beautiful gun. Because yeah, it is a gun. But. Take a look at the box first because, oh, the box is pretty. So it says DX Neo. Oh, is it DN driver or DN driver? I can't, I never remember how to say this thing's name correctly. I always just call it the DN gun. Uh, there it is the Neo DN gun in all of its beautiful glory. DN's case, which, because I saw one of the, um, third-party Soundwave Headmaster Transformers many years ago, this reminds me of that. Uh, Neo the end. Another shot of Neo the end. Now the bottom. Some of the Rider cards. And on the top. Oh, wait, I was meant to spin it. <laughs> the others. And finally, on the back, a full image of all of the riders. He can, I think it's all. Well, all of the rider cards that come included, I do believe every rider is there. You can't say every secondary rider due to the fact that he can summon so many. And due to the way that that actually would work, it technically means this guy would also have access to... Riders like Kronos, Genmu, just so many more. It's insane just to think about. But in the con the contents of the box, a DN gun, a big stack of Rider cards for DN, just for DN, and then another stack of Rider cards which I have safely stored within his card holder, which can safely hold 20 cards. But this will become more important later in the video because, yeah, these aren't DN's cards, are they? Well, except this one. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah, 20. 20 is about the limit, I would say, which is kind of sad because you can't actually hold all of DN's cards in here. The end does have a massive stack of card, which cards, which as I said, they are the secondary writers. But he does have a small stack exclusive to him. Henshin, final attack, and some attack rides, which these do work in the Deca Driver. But I still am annoyed that you don't get the D uh, decayed versions. Because there's a decade blast, there's a decade uh, invisible, and a decade illusion. These two are the exclusive cards for the end. That being blast and barrier, and they say Neo on them. And I'm guessing we didn't get decade versions because they didn't say they didn't make any Neo decayed ones. But I, I feel like they easily could have done that. But it's about the gun, the Jun. <laughs> uh, and this does look very nice. I don't know which one I like more. I don't know if I like the original or this blue one more. Because they both look so nice. The original one was done in black with the handle section here being in silver, if I remember correctly. It's just... I don't know. I might pick up the original. I don't have a black one, so I might... Uh search around one of those. Well, let's flick this on, and it takes, do you believe it was just two AAAs? The on-off switch is right there. Welcome. I mean, wake up. God damn it. <laughs> Screwed up my own jokes I wanted to do. Ah, beautiful red paint up there, by the way. I love that color. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if my camera's gonna pick it up, but there is some beautiful glariness 
in the red, and it looks amazing. But the lights are only down here, and gun sounds? If you hold the trigger, it doesn't change anything. Funny thing is, I swear that sounds like it's actually doing two shots at once. Hmm, hopefully I'm right about that, but unfortunately, no black in the barrels. I do believe the complete selection actually colors that in black. But let's get down to a henshin sequence, shall we? There is DN's card. He is a master rider, because, as I said, in the DK... I wasn't meant to toss that. In, in the DK video, before, after DK is when they did the change. But the card goes up here. Henshin. Yep, there's the end. Unfortunately, I don't think that changes the sound effects. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it did or not. And by the way, fun fact, this can store multiple cards, but I... I can't remember, I tested it, like, ages ago when I first got the gun. I think I said to myself three was about the limit you should do, but I think the total is... four? Because when it gets to four, it gets a bit scary. So just to prove that, we'll take DN's at final attack ride, which that emblem looks actually nice. Slightly different than DK's, but you know. So load that in. Final attack, and we'll do a attack ride just to show off the whole free card thing. I'm pretty sure it's four was the limit, but we'll do invisible, which, if I remember correctly, he did that one a lot. Oh, yeah, that. Oof. Yeah, that already didn't feel nice. Yep, just slide them out. One, two, three. Yeah, you can shotgun load cards, basically. So here's what a free we just did. So let's go on to the next attack ride. Blast. And I love this card. This card always looks so nice. A lot of the attack rides always look nice, but yeah. Up, we can do invisible the end oh wait what did I just say uh, brain work that was my brain clearly not working because didn't I just call that invisible again uh Alright, well, we'll slide those two out, because I don't want to exceed the limit, because I'd rather not damage the cards, even though they are plastic. So the next one is Neo Barrier, which... I, f I swear I, rem I only remember seeing this card get used once. Unload that and then do the last card, which is cross attack. Which I, again, I think that only got used once or maybe twice because I, again, I, as I stated in the Decker Driver video, I didn't really watch Z Geo. I'm probably gonna go back and actually watch it and watch the specials. I do know what happens in the last one they did with uh, Decade, but. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much desire to watch it. I might, because I do want to see DK and D end, which I have heard they have like a decent amount of screen time. Yeah. 
So those were basically the main D, D end cards that got used for the shows. That being Decade Season itself and um, Geo. I completely blanked on the name there somehow. <laughs> These are nice cards and they do work in the deck of driver as I stated, but they don't fully work. Like it just says um, Attack Ride Decade while in the DN driver they actually get their name said. But I guess we should move on to his summons, which... His summons I'm just going to blast through a little bit because they get very samey very quickly. And there's a, there's actually not even 20. Because if I remember correctly, there isn't a secondary rider for Kuga. So I'm pretty sure it starts with Agito and then goes all the way to Gio. Which the fact that this card exists makes me laugh. Uh, but we'll start with... G3, and if I remember correctly, there is a G4 card? I might be wrong about that. I can't remember the complete selection set. Yeah. So I'll say the name and then do the sound effect. So I'll show you the sound effect two more times. So we'll use... Knight, who you might remember if you watched a Common Rider season in 2008 that was on American TV. Wait, there's his emblem, sorry. And then this will be the last one we show actually pulling the trigger, which is Kaiza from Fi's World. I haven't, I have watched a little bit of Fies. I haven't gotten up to Kaiser yet, so I have no idea what kind of dude he is. He does seem kind of cool, though. So yeah, Kaiser. If I can get it out. Knight. And G3. So yeah. Now we're going to stop pulling the trigger and just let the gun say their names, because that will be a lot faster. So next up is Guran. Pretty sure that's how you say his name. Hopefully. Oops. And I dropped the card. I'm amazing at that. Next up is Ibuki. I'm very bad with names. I don't know if you notice that sometimes. If I hear a name a lot, I can mimic, uh, remember it. I ah, actually got that right. Gatak. Okay, I've watched a fair amount of Kabuto, and this guy is actually enjoyable. I remember laughing at him a few times. them all out can be a bit of a pain because you, cause you have to put them in like slightly sideways but and then and when, oops, when you pull them out you gotta angle them but uh the guy in the show definitely had no trouble and the guy in the show i don't remember his name i just always refer to him as the end um if i remember correctly the actor's father is actually the voice actor of one of the ocelots from Metal Gear, and that's how he learned how to spin the gun, because I think his dad taught him somehow. Yeah, next up is Xeranos, which... Actually, I don't remember D Deno, because I watched it so many years ago, but I remember enjoying this character. I remember finding him super interesting. I'm just going to stop multi-loading. Next up will be Ixa. A Kiva Rider, and that symbol, I didn't even realize that was a symbol for a while. Uh, that's the end of the Phase 1 Heisei. Next up is the start of Phase 2, which will be... Oh, uh, is it Axel or Axel? Oh no, I can't remember which one you meant to say his name as. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> oh, no. Axel. Axel. Okay, it was Axel. 
Next up is Burf. Yeah, don't ask. I have no idea why his name is Burf. This emblem is always interesting, because I'm pretty sure it's meant to look like one of those, uh, Gashapon capsules. Me too, I do believe. Hopefully I'm... Hopefully I do get that right and it's not going to be something completely different within the gun. That's going to be weird. Yep. Phew. Ah. Beast. This this guy is really interesting and cool. I, I always liked him. The, the mayonnaise, though... The mayonnaise, though, because he puts mayonnaise on everything, did get weird very fast. I think the gun says Baron, but I say Barin, who's a banana. So, let's give him this splits! Time to get out of here and split! Oh, uh, we start with the bad puns again, do we? <laughs> okay. If you're an English speaker, you would say his name is Mock, but I d again, I do believe the gun says Maha, which Maha is actually just really fun to pronounce for some reason. Yeah, see? It says Maha. Spectre. This is uh, one of my friend's favorites, but specifically I do believe it was Sin Spectre. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but I got the card jammed down in that little gap. Yeah, getting them out can be slightly tricky if you're going a bit too fast. Just fix up that pile. Alright, this is where I do have a slight problem. I like Brave, don't get me wrong. But I felt, I genuinely feel like it would have been funnier and cooler if the x World Riders card they chose was Genmu. I also love Genmu, so that could just be a slight bit of bias. But it is nice to get Brave. I just probably would have preferred Genmu, but I understand he actually is the secondary rider, because that's what they are. That's what these cards are. They're that world's true secondary rider. Genmu was what I would classify as a villain rider. Or... Cross Z, or... Actually, I can't even remember how the gun says it. I just... I always said Cross Z. I like the emblem, though. Looks cool. Cross... Crosses? Is that how it said it? Alright. Last up for secondary rider is Geizu. Geizu? Gaze? I know it's... I, I've always said it as Gaze, but I think... Again, they say it kind of weirdly in the show. Come in, Lido. Yeah, it, I don't know if you heard that, but it sounded like there was a T there. Which is what always confused me. Oh well. Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> ah, but that's all the secondary writers. And I forgot to pull out an actual decayed card. But something of note, uh, I guess I'll just use this one. There's a white background on all of uh, DN's ones, but DK's always has a black, which I always found that interesting. How cause it kind of helps tell the difference between whose card belongs to who. It's like you got black, you got this gray white for DN's, and you got the black for DK's. And I'm pretty sure that's also the exact same for the attack rides. Cause like I fit, if I remember correctly, Decade's attack rides also were black. But yeah, that's DN's. That's for the most part all of DN's guns, uh, guns, all, all of his cards except this one. I, if I remember correctly, this is like a movie form or something, and they didn't include any of the cards that actually go on its chest. But we'll show it off.
Yeah. That rounds it up for DN's cards. Now, ooh, I accidentally, I accidentally launched some of the cards. <laughs> Whoops. Um, now, if that's where the DN, the stuff that comes with the DN gun were it, then I would probably say get it if you love the end maybe pass but that's not where it ends is it <laughs> yeah i i love the fact that they included all these cards i am a bit upset that these cards don't show up uh that the attack rides for dk didn't come out as well and it is cool to get them it's really cool to get this stack of what was it 19 if you don't count the end and they don't really do much in the dn gun so this is basically where this part of the video ends for him but i'll pull out one of my favorite riders just to show what it does because it doesn't do much but you'll see it do you'll see this card do a lot more in a second after i use it here Yeah, it, it just basically says the name of the card and that's it. And that's just kind of, eh, boring. But, where some of these Final Form rides show their real, their amazement is here. And, shh, we'll use my special helper, but don't tell anyone where it's from. Okay. This will make going through the cards quicker and faster. But something of note is this is where I do kind of have to shine a little bit of negative light on the secondary rider cards. Even though the attack rides will work, like we'll use invisible here. See that? They, they just say decayed. So there's not really much point to using them. Some of them will say DN'd, and the DN card does work. But most of the secondary riders don't. So most of these cards don't do anything, unfortunately. But this stack, on the other hand, will. So, decayed complete. If you're wondering how I'm doing that, I'm just literally pressing on the belt. I'm doing this. That's all I'm doing. The next up is Kuga Ultimate, his original final form. If you don't count DK, what DK does. Next up is, oops, Agito Shining Form. It occurs to me I don't even need to say the full name. Vice. King. 
Hebo key. One of my favorites, Kabuto. There's a belly doing it my way. Deno, one of the first riders of time, because Gio basically copied. Kiva. Form song that can get stuck in my head quite a lot. O's. Messed up my accent. I apologize. Forze. Now, this is where things start to get interesting in a jam out to this one because I love this common rider so much. This 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 jingle. Uh And finally, the last of this list. Build.
And now we can say goodbye to Deca for now. So let's bring everything in, back in. There we go. The two stacks. Gun. Now let's be real honest. I'm gonna give out my closing thoughts, and then end the video. Should you buy this? If you ignore this and just pretended like this is all you got, I kind of gotta say yeah, skip it. Because this is cool. This is really cool. This is kind of eh. But there's just not that much here. Like, the end, I love him. I found him to be very fun and enjoyable to watch, if not slightly annoying at certain moments because of, like, those hints, which people do complain about. Decayed story being kind of eh. I enjoyed him. I found him to be fun, entertaining. Again, slightly annoying. And, like, these cards, they're really cool. Like, getting the attack rides. But the att getting the attack rides also does slightly annoy me because I just want to get the decayed ones as well. But then, if you already have the Decca Driver, this does become a must-buy because of these. Like, this card, eh. But all of these other cards are so nice. And a big part of the reason I have to say, if you own the Decca Driver to get them, is because of forms like Pruto Tier, which the sound is awesome. And of course, X Aid. I have there's been multiple moments where I've just put this card into the belt and just jammed out because I love Muteki. The sound is amazing. And the fact that they put it in. <clears throat> so if you earn the deck driver, like the actual driver, because I have obviously taken mine off to make doing that segment easier. I do kind of got to say, this becomes worth it if you own this. But only if you own this. But, like, if you buy this first and then you're looking at, like, oh, should I get this? It's like, yeah, you should. If you're planning on getting this on its own, it works perfectly fine. But if we pretended that this wasn't there, and you had this first, and then you wanted to buy this, then it becomes iffy on whether or not you should buy it. But because these are here, the card turtle amount being so good, the cards being so good, except for these not working, most of them not working, it does become worth it. If you're a decayed season fan, or you enjoyed watching the end in Geo, because I don't know how good he is, unfortunately, I'm sorry. It does become recommendation. Again, oops, if you have the stuff, you already got Decca. Why not get the the end gun from Geo? Because good, amazing. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you on, I do believe the mail, uh, the email said Tuesday, where things will be going digital. I did get asked about if I had a certain item. Well, the answer is I do, but you're gonna have to be patient because everyone was patient. <laughs>